Hey everybody, I'm Robin Curian and you're watching Run It With Robin. Today I am here at the TV One office about to speak to actors Joy Riveras and Hassan Johnson. They're in the new biopic of Bobby Christina Brown. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Breaking news today out of Roswell, Georgia. Christina Police Brown, are the daughter of Whitney Houston, Houston and Bobby Brown. Where'd you go, my friend? You think I'd be a good singer? Did I lose you? Because of what you wanted. Hey everybody, I am here with Joy Riveras, who plays Bobby Christina in the upcoming biopic, Bobby Christina. When I watched the trailer, you sounded like Bobby Chris. Okay, you really did. How was it? What was the preparation like for this this role? Because it's a very big role. Yes, it is, and it was um, a dream come true for me, in a sense that I've always wanted to play Whitney Houston. Like that's been my favorite person ever. And as I grew up, I, I realized, okay, so you know, <laughs> we don't look like Whitney, and we surely don't sing like Whitney. So I thought I just let it go. But then when this opportunity presented itself. Um, I was, you know, I felt like, oh my gosh, I have the opportunity to give Whitney Houston's favorite person in the world, you know, some justice, shed some light on her story. I took this role very seriously. Um, I took it like a responsibility to um, show the world who this person was. And so I researched all of being Bobby Brown, which I, I'd seen in the past, but this time I watched it with Chrissy eyes. So I looked at Whitney and Bobby as though they were my parents, you know, yeah. like Joy's parents in that time and then knowing all of the comments and the tabloids, because I also learned that Chrissy read every single thing. She did. She read it all. And it's funny because when our movie first uh, was, when it was announced that we were first filming, those comments came and everybody was like, don't read them, don't read them. You know, they don't know what we're doing. They don't understand, no one knows. And so I, I was like, you know, if Chrissy read it, mm -hmm. I'ma read it. So it really helped me um, understand her mindset. I talked with a lot of her friends and our producer. You did? You talked to her friends? Yeah, actually her very best friend at the time of her passing is in our film. She plays herself. Yeah, um, a girl named, yeah. Yes. Alex okay. Reed. Okay. She had a conversation right before Chrissy passed where um, she was in a closet and FaceTimed Alex and you know over the phone and she was so afraid and crying um, she and Nick had a really bad fight and so for three hours she just sat there you know comforting Chrissy over the phone and she shared that time with me and then we went into film. What are some things that you have in common with her? Well I learned that Chrissy is hilarious one and she's feisty so it's like you know like a a small package with a lot of punch. Mm -hmm. I have that in common with her. And I was nervous to bring that to it because at first I just thought she was, oh, this sweet, soft girl. And her family and friends were like, oh, no. Chrissy was Whitney's daughter. Mm -hmm. She didn't take no mess. What was the toughest part or challenge in playing Bobby Christina? For me, it was Nick because Joy was not a fan, mm -hmm. to put it nicely, of Nick. So I had to really find a way to relate to Nick and love, understand Chrissy's relationship with him in a sense that I would be able to love him too. You know, her father, Bobby Brown, he, he doesn't want this to air. If you had an opportunity to sit down with Bobby and tell him why this movie should air, what would you say? First of all, I would hug Bobby from all my research. You know, he's the last one standing. Yes. And my heart from Chrissy's POV just goes out to him so badly. Um, I would ask Bobby to watch it. Just watch it. Yeah. You don't even have to have an open mind or anything. You just watch it because when you see what we've done, we've honored his baby girl. What would you think Bobby Christina would think about this movie? We were filming like the last, the day before our last day of rapping. And when I was doing this scene in a bathtub and we were like um, in the CBD of Atlanta, really high up. And um, there's this window behind me and I'm in the tub and the camera's underwater and then all of a sudden they see these purple balloons rise behind my head and we're like on like the 100 and something floor. We were really high up, no reason balloons to come. And then we realized that in about four hours it would be Chrissy's birthday oh, wow. and her favorite color was purple and she always had purple balloons. And so it was little things that like that that made you go, okay. We're doing the right thing. It's so, okay. yeah. yeah. So, I think I did my girl well. Oh. I hope she would be proud. I am here with Hassan Johnson playing Bobby Brown, guys. So, we got to talk about this because this is a big 
you're in some big shoes to fill right yeah, now. Yeah. This is, I mean, he's legendary. Yeah. New addition. Yeah. I'm from New England, so, you know, I feel like me and Bobby got something in common. Did you ever get a chance to reach out to him about this biopic? Well, unfortunately not, but you know, Bobby and I have a relationship. I haven't seen him since I was in LA and we just, I mean, with the timing and, and the preparation, I just didn't get to, I would love, I would have loved to, but then, you know, maybe that made for a better situation. Maybe because then now it doesn't hinder or make me biased to what, because then if we speak, I might feel like, well, I can't really express what I need to express to get, to convey the message that we're trying to get across. He's feeling like this movie's portraying him as a man that never loved his daughter, you know, as a bad person. So I want you, you playing him. So please tell me, is that true? That, that can be further from the truth. We're humanizing these people and showing the unconditional and undying love and the bond that they had just family yeah. you know it's not the studio and the road and the stage aspects of their lives it's the at home mm -hmm. you know and and i think you know people would be surprised by, by that as well as bobby if you could have a chance to just be face to face and tell him why he should see this movie what would you say well, because he's been through so much and I would say, Bobby, you know, it's going to be hard to look at because he has to relive it. Yeah. But just but just so he can know the nuances that we that that we concentrated on as far as the love is concerned. And we did it with the respect, with the love. And we all took it personal. What did you learn from playing him? What what did you specifically what came out of this with because you have a daughter right. so tell me what did you you know do you feel like man like the bond between your daughter should be tighter what well it makes you question your relationship because i even heard joy say that with you know playing bobby chrissy that she even had to call her mom and be like you know we got to get it together or tighten up and i mean and that's just because you know we all want the best for one another we love our family we love our moms our dads and for me it just it didn't really i didn't learn anything more more than it just reinforced mm -hmm. what i already thought and knew and and i and i knew that he just loved his daughter unconditionally and more than anything in the world what do you think viewers are going to get out of this movie i mean it's relatable right the film and you know maybe you'll learn something about yourself whether you're in an abusive relationship you know whether you're trying to work on your parenthood or whatever it is personally and internally and i think we covered all ground of that like we i think you know it's it's a good message that we're conveying and and love is at the top of it you know I'm at the Build studio and we are going to check out an interview with Joy Hassan and Vivica A. Fox. So this should be exciting. I was a friend of both of theirs and loved them very much. So the very first thing that I asked was can I read the script? Uh, I read the script, it was wonderful. Uh, they asked me to play, I played Pat Houston, I played, played the auntie. And, um, we, we did a wonderful job, and, and what I'm going to tell you, when you all see, especially Demetra McKinney, because she did the most amazing portrayal of Whitney Houston. When I'm telling you, there was times that it, I forgot I was watching Demetria from all of the essence, like she just did a wonderful job that I got chills. But everyone in, in the entire cast did a wonderful job, and we were very blessed that we had the director, Ty Hodges, who wanted to make sure with the script that we humanize these characters, that we explain the connections and why certain events took place so that you could get to know them outside of them. Winnie Houston, major rock star, Bobby Brown, major rock star, that you got to know them as people and connect the dots and their feelings and how as a family they interacted with one another. We had fights in the daily, I mean, with yeah. the, script, the existing script that we got, to make it even better once we all got there as performers to make sure that we were capturing the right things, to make sure that it wasn't um, a tabloidish, you know, um, made film. I mean, when you, when you see the film, we've all seen it. It's a wonderful job, and that's what we're asking the family and for our fans to do, is to watch the movie and to get to know Bobby <coughs> Christina. Well, guys, I hope this excites you guys. You've got to tune in. TV One, Sunday, October 8th. It's the Bobby Christina biopic. And I'll see you guys next time on Run It With Robin.